this is the third generation. You know, we did Unreal Tournament and Game of the Year, which was kind of the first generation. And then we did uh, uh, Unreal Tournament 2003, and then 2004 was an extension of that. That was the second generation. And now we just want to kind of hammer home the point that this isn't just another extension to that series, but a whole new game. And we thought the best way to do that was to change the name. Plus, wouldn't look very good if we called it UT 2007 and shipped in 2009. Oh, joking, <laughs> joking. Midway, I'm kidding, it's just a joke. Unreal Tournament has been historically very good at running on low-end gamer machines. I say gamer machines, because there's low-end non-gamer machines too, but. Uh, so we've always worked really hard to make sure it could run efficiently on just about everything. This one, it might be a little tougher this time because, you know, there's such a gulf between an NVIDIA 8800 and Intel Integrated Graphics. It's just, you know, it's impossible to satisfy everybody in that range. But we'll certainly work very hard and have as good a low-end system as we can. So anybody with a decent gaming rig shouldn't have a problem playing the game. They'll just play at different resolutions than here. We're playing at 720p and, you know, I mean, a guy with the dual 8800s and the quad core might be able to play it at 1080p and you know and then down the road the next generation might be able to play it even higher 25 60 by 1600 those 30 inch monitors so we'll see but uh, but our our goal when shipping UT is to we usually overshoot the best available system you can buy of the day if you're going to turn all the features on and want to play it at high resolution and I think I'm sure we're doing that this time too so there's plenty of headroom left for for people that uh, want to buy something fancy. We are definitely going to support DX10 and obviously Vista, but those aren't going to be mandatory requirements. And we're certainly here on DX9 and XP. You know, we're shipping it uh, on uh, PC, PlayStation 3, and Xbox 360. And is that going to be a simultaneous launch for all those platforms? We don't know yet. Too early to tell how we're going to, what's going to come first or whether they'll all come together. We don't know. What's it been like for you to work on the PlayStation 3? It's great. It's an awesome machine, lots of power. It's great having that hard drive so we can have downloadable content. Uh, it's great that you know everyone is capable of going online and Sony's doing a good job there. So we're really, I mean, we're really happy with the with the consoles. And and UT, the whole idea, you know, we just confirmed uh, Xbox 360 today for UT. And the reason why we've been pushing it more as a PlayStation 3 title is because it's our showcase for PlayStation 3 that shows off and proves our technology on that platform. And by the time we ship this game, we will be have fantastic, amazing, great performance on PlayStation 3 and all the things you expect out of a UT title. So, you know, so obviously we're happy with that platform. Do you think you'll be able to eclipse the visuals of Gears of War on the PlayStation 3? Um, I don't think it's really a matter of eclipsing. I think we'll be able to accomplish great visuals for UT. I don't, I don't think it's really, they aren't directly comparable because we're not doing Gears of War for PlayStation 3. When is the game going to be ready? When it's done. I mean, you know, we're, we're aiming for the fall, but, you know, we're, we're going to take our time and get it right.